Have you heard? asked Clicky, weeping uncontrollably, as ever. Next to her, Bunsen nods like a puppet. A bad sign, since his usual head movement is from side to side. I'm cautious in these situations. I have to calibrate my responses carefully. The wrong feeling and my market value could drop considerably. Authenticity is a skill for which we are well paid, but the customers are ruthless. I haven't heard, I reply, which only makes Bunsen's head nod harder. I was a sensitive child, and it was Clicky who turned me on to the technology. Suddenly, all those feelings didn't just make sense. They made money. Every bee sting, every lonely lunchtime, every grain of sand on that beach in Ibiza, recorded, remixed, and broadcast in real time. I got better at it. Not just better at feeling, but better at feeling what feeling felt like. All the way to feeling what it was like to be here, at the top. It came through the screens an hour ago, Clicky says, which explains why I haven't heard. Because for the last hour, I've been focused entirely on eating a meatless burger with a baseline of moral uncertainty, an undertone of primal satisfaction, and a top note of virtue signaling. Clicky dabs at her eyes and hands me a screen. My previous hour's work is ruined. It's not possible, I tell her. And Bunsen and everybody else is on my feet. I watch my patrons cancelling their contributions, even while I say the word. They're off to find someone who can deliver something more daring than disbelief. It's not possible, I say again, trying to salvage something from the moment. Maybe if I introduce some outrage, some grief. Maybe if I change my playlist, stream something with a bit more gravitas. Some John Luther Adams, maybe. But no, none of that will help if this screen speaks true. Agatha has released an emotional AI into the wild, and our lives will never be the same again. Somewhere out there, it is learning from all my previous experiences, all of Clicky's and Bunsen's experiences, and replicating them, churning out exactly the same experiences at a fraction of the price. It doesn't bear thinking about, so I don't think about it. And so the next thing you feel is that Clicky, Bunsen and I are on the digital barricades. We petition Agatha to drop this line of research, to withdraw this product, to stay in their lane. We petition our patrons to petition Agatha, and we petition our patrons to petition their patrons to petition Agatha. Every second we spend petitioning is time we don't spend generating new experiences. Of course, petitioning is a new experience for us, but not for everybody else. Liquid democracy is an endless series of votes unless you, consider, unless you consciously decide to opt out. I try not to look at my patron levels while I petition. Right now, petitioning is the be-all and end-all. Trying to persuade a tech giant like Algatha to bow down is the task of Sisyphus. As we toil, all I can think is, if we fail, the despair will barely cover the rent. Despair is easy to come by. Any deplorable can summon up futility and defeat and self-pity while watching the sunset on their flimsy existence. But if we succeed, the sense of triumph might make us all millionaires. That elation you feel when you look down from the top of the world, that can't be faked. In the background, Clicky says, it's here. And Bunsen's head movements become audible. The recorders in my retina, my cochlea, my grey matter, wait for something more interesting than fear to happen to my limbic system. Yet when we actually test drive this emo AI, all we feel is relief. Agatha only has diet qualia, without the weight of memory to anchor it. It's good, sure, but everything it's broadcast is so flat, and that can get you killed, at least in financial terms. For now, our status is secure. But the narrative has got the media all hot and bothered, and I spy opportunity. As an interviewer on a news feed asks me, how does it feel to still be the number one qualia superstar? It takes me a moment to adjust my emotional ratios, to answer in a manner that is superior without being elitist. I'm probably best in the world at being humble. How does it feel? I mean, is that an ironic question? The news feed laughs. My patrons laugh. Somewhere out there, an AI laughs, then recalibrates. So where did they go wrong? 
There's no depth, darling, I reply. There's sand in the, vis- there's sand in the Vaseline, but there's no sunset strolls before, no relationship breakdowns behind it, no makeup sex after. Like an actor with only a green screen to work with. But seriously, says the news feed, and now I am serious, this must be terrifying for you. What a dilemma. Feeling terrified is big business, just like horror movies used to be. Yet if I feel terrified, everyone will know that I really am terrified. That's authentic, but it will make me look weak. If I appear unable to control my emotions, well, we all know what happens to people who can't control their emotions. Hysteria, cryptocurrency of the emo economy. I shiver. It could be fear. It could be excitement. It could be a cold draft. Ambiguity sells, especially if it's unambiguous. Darling, I tell the news field, nobody, torturing the vowel sounds on the rack of my lips. Frankly, the qualia business has become stagnant. This new thing, it's utterly invigorating. I flick my hair from my eyes. Media attention is what's really invigorating, and all my patrons know it. I watch my contributions skyrocket as they all realize what's happening. Everybody knows that nothing will feel the same after this, and isn't that great for business? Yet somewhere out there, an AI is watching me and making notes, making its first memory.